Hello everybody! So, um, today's video is like a new concept for me. I've never really compared lipsticks before. So, I don't know. I just decided to do one right now because I have two lipsticks from the same company. These are both from L'Oreal. And they are the same shade name. So, anyway, this is just a very quick... A very quick comparison between the two because I already did um, like a more in-depth comparison of the of the Rouge signature from L'Oreal compared to the chiffon signature um, lipsticks. But for this video, I just wanted to focus more on these two colors because they're the same shade but they're not the same color on on the face on the lips. So just a quick recap. This one, L'Oreal Rouge Signature, um, comes in, I don't know how many shades, it has It, got, it has a lot of shades. This um, this was released last year, and this cost around 350 pesos to 400 pesos. This one released this year, it has around 12 shades as of now. And this one is more expensive, this is... This cost around 500 pesos or $10. This one like around $8. And the formula is different. This one is more of like a lip stain where the formula starts as like a liquid and then it will... It's not like a liquid. Well, it is a liquid lipstick, but the formula is so thin. It looks more like a... more of like a lip stain. I love this formula because i don't know it's just it's so lightweight it's just it feels like nothing on this on the lips whereas this one i thought i would prefer the formula because i prefer like soft velvet soft mousse lipstick formula and this one is supposed to be that one but l'oreal just didn't do a good job with the formulation formulation for this one instead of like velvety or soft mousse this um this comes out a little bit more it feels a bit more oily and the smell oh my gosh the smell i don't really like smell in general with my make with my cosmetics but this one i can tolerate because it has like a sweet scent this one it also has a sweet scent but it's more like artificially strong i don't know it it makes me have a headache when i wear this one but yeah packaging similar just different um color so this one is the L'Oreal Eyelid from the Rouge Signature line. I actually like this product, this color so much that it's it's one of like my top three among my Rouge Signature lipsticks. So let me swatch it. So that's it for Eyelid. Let me just... The formula again is so thin and then it dries out but it does it's it's not drying it's so lightweight so this is the eyelid from the rouge signature and then this one is this one is from the chiffon signature yeah the their smell is kind of similar but this one is just yeah it's it's this one is like just stronger. The, this one is the eyelid from the chiffon signature. So I'm not sure if you can if you can tell, but this one has a bit more of like a brighter undertone. This one has a bit more like shine to it. But you can see like, I, I hope you can, but, or is it just my eyes? This one has a bit more muted, more mauve undertone with a hit more of brown. This one is like more red, a bit brighter undertone. So you can see the difference. This one is the L'Oreal Rouge Signature, this one is the chiffon. And this one is um, slowly getting drier. This one is just, it's just there because it's sore. Like, it's like sitting on top. Okay, so next, I'm just gonna wear them together. 
on my lips. I've never done this. I hope, and I hope the camera that my phone can like uh capture the difference, but I doubt it. But let's see. I love this formula. So that's I did. Rouge signature. Let me just wait for it to dry because I don't want to mix up with the chiffon. And then now I'm gonna apply the eyelid from the Rouge signet, uh, chiffon signature. Usually for this one, I try to hold my breath when I am applying it. So there. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and then let's do like a kiss test. Um, I'm not sure if you can see like the slight color difference, but this one is just uh, the chiffon signature is just a little bit brighter than this one. So, yeah, that's this one. So again, now I can really notice the difference. This one is just, so it has a bit more silicone in it. So it feels a little bit more slippery. So that's where like the oily feeling comes in. This one is a little, a little bit, this one feels like your lips. It's not really dry, but it, it just feels like the texture of your lips without, without any product on. It's just like, it's so melded into my lips. It does not feel drying. But then again, my lips aren't really dry. But the, definitely the chiffon, that the rouge signature does not have like that slip that I can feel with the chiffon signature. Yeah, when I like, how do I, how do I explain it? When I rub my lips together, the this side, the chiffon signature, it just glides. But this one, if I, if I, if I do this, my lips just feel like there's just more friction because this one just feels like my skin. It does not have like a um, smoothing agent, smoothing ingredient in the lips. So let me just wait a little bit. This one has settled already. This one I'm not, this one I know that it won't settle, but for the sake of, you know, for, for the sake of this comparison, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for it to, to settle before I do a, like a wear test. Okay, so it's been a minute. So I think that's enough waiting time already. I know that this won't settle anyway, so let's just do a kiss test. So again, this is the Rouge, Rouge one, this is the Chiffon one. So both of these have transfer. Again, both are not really marketed as transfer proof and I don't really mind having transfer. But yeah, this is the Rouge, this is the Chiffon. The Chiffon has a little bit of like consist bulking up of product in the middle. Because again, I keep on doing this and the formula is like very slippery. So of course the movement, the product will move a little bit. But yeah, that's it. It's just 410. So I just wanted to see how both of this will wear. So I'll see you later. Hello everyone, so it's 19.49, started it at 4, so it's almost 4 hours and I ate a soup and of course drink water, so this is how the lips are wearing down. It's good. Um, I'm just gonna end this video by reapplying because you know that's what we normally do if after we eat we retouch the lipstick
that's the rouge one yeah let me just wait for it to dry down a little bit before i reapply the chiffon one so that they won't get mixed up together and then now let's reapply the chiffon one both of these lipsticks actually reapply well so i just wanted to show you how they reapply So, both of this, as you can see, we apply well. And I'm not sure if you were able to see the difference, but for me, there's like a slight difference in the color. But um, if, you guys, if you guys are going to ask me what do I prefer, um, I would prefer the rouge side just because I have better formulas for like the soft mask soft mask soft matte mousse formula i prefer like the sunny's face um lip dips as well as the mac powder kiss like uh powder kiss liquid lipsticks i prefer those types of like velvety mousse like formula rather than this l'oreal one so because of that i would prefer this one but all in all both are good lipsticks and again there's a slight difference with the eyelid color um it's not as obvious but for me for my eyes i can i can tell that i can see some difference like this one is just redder and it depends on your preference maybe you prefer like more reddish undertones or um like brighter undertones then you would prefer the eyelid from the chiffon signature but for me with my taste right now i prefer something like more brown more muted more mauve so i would prefer the rouge signature one but all in all, I would still prefer the Rouge signature, Rouge signature because one, it's cheaper and I like the packaging way better just because you can see the whole product and the whole color and also the scent. The scent is really like the, the one that's really different. I just prefer the scent of the eyelid one. This one is just sickly sweet. But yeah, that's it for this um, wear test of this uh, lipstick. So again, it's, uh, I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.